Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the real economy report. Pharmaceutical company Aspen officially opened its new high containment facility, valued at about 1 billion rand earlier this month. Simone Lietka tells us more. In order to grow to the next level in the pharmaceutical manufacturing industry, Aspen needed to find new and complex technologies, which Aspen Chief Executive Stephen Saad says provides the company with the opportunity to expand into manufacturing products that are used for rare indications. If I look at Aspen's growth evolution, where we started with really commodity generic products and, and, and still have them and we've been highly successful, we decided that to be able to grow to the next level, we needed to, to, to find new technologies and in, in that role. And this is, this is an extension of those technologies. They're highly potent products. They require huge containment to make sure people aren't exposed to, to the toxicity that these products create. And, this, and, and, and they're in very key areas like cancer, organ, organ replacements, so key, key areas. And this represents a value add in addition to what we've done historically. Apart from the product and services that Aspen plans to deliver with its high containment facility, the facility and subsequent extensions will create an additional 500 jobs. So when we look at this facility and the extensions, the subsequent extension, we're hoping to create 500 jobs, at least 500 jobs over here, which will add to the 2,000 jobs that we already have. So it's a, it's a fairly significant uh, extension. And the jobs are highly skilled, well-paid jobs, and it's, a, uh, it's, it's something that will really help expand our base in, in Port Elizabeth and hopefully be a, a big knock-on and positive impact on the, on the entire local economy. With manufacturing in the pharmaceutical sector contributing to about 0.48% of South Africa's gross domestic product, Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies, who officiated the facility's launch, says that the opening of the facility is a statement of confidence. Well, um, I think in the first instance uh, it is a, a statement of confidence by a very significant manufacturer which is also operating uh, on, a, on the global scale uh, in uh, the future of South Africa and uh, is uh, developing its, its home base. But this particular facility is in uh, high potency active pharmaceutical ingredients. Uh, if we look at the, the figures, we, we consume about 55 billion rand of pharmaceutical products uh, a year as a country. But we have a trade deficit of about 20 billion rand. So it means we import a very, very significant part of the pharmaceuticals that we consume. And then the, uh, we import 22 billion rand of active pharmaceutical ingredients. Those are the things that make the tablets or medications work. And uh, this particular plant is moving into that space. Uh, it's producing the uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients for anti-rejection drugs in the first instance. But it's part of a, a, a broader strategy of identifying niches uh, in that regard. And when all of the investments uh, happen, this will be, uh, it will take uh, this uh, facility, I'm told, uh, it will become the second largest employer in Nelson Mandela Bay after Volkswagen. So uh, that would make it a very significant uh, employer. 90% of the employees in this factory are from this area anyway. Uh, so I think that uh, all in all, it's a statement of confidence. Uh, it's part of the, although this was uh, planned by some time ago, uh, if they move ahead with the entirety of the program, I think it'll, be, it'll demonstrate the growing confidence we've seen of investors and investors in particular in manufacturing. Uh, which is uh, uh, very important to our economy and our transformation. So uh, that's, uh, that's more or less what it uh, means for the country, for our pharmaceutical industry, uh, and also for this uh, particular city. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.